And uh, me, my name is Govan Mishra. I belong to Aranasi, but for the last 40 years, we are still in Orissa. And it doesn't mean that I'm 40 years old. I'm 13 plus. And if girls, they can be 16 plus throughout their life, I can't be boys. You know? Why should girls have all the fun? Even boys have the right to have fun. Uh, for the last 8 years, and on this 14th of Feb, it became 8 years, I'm married happily, so my wife is happily married. <laughs> If you look at all the ladies who are married, they have this huge smile on their face. And look at all the men. <laughs> for them it's a choice, for us it's a compulsion. <laughs> my dream, my first love, it was, it is and it will be the Indian Army. My dream was to become a commissioned officer of the Indian Army. I cleared this as we interview twice. But unfortunately, I couldn't join the army, but still, by heart, I'm an army man. And uh, I tell you, the fun you get in army, the adventure you face, no, the opportunities you get in army, you get nowhere. Uh, you fight light machine gun, I fight uh, carbine, the CMG, uh, 303 guns, and I got the opportunity to be, you know, to, to take, a, take a ride of tank. It was really a great uh, experience. But as it is said, that men propose it and God and girls disposes. <laughs> so there are few boys who might have been disposed by girls many times and few want to be disposed. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> So today I'm not in the forge, but I don't have any regrets. I don't have any, you know, what do you say, regrets because I have the young guns today. And every day I just need to charge on the flare and they just burst out. This is the best thing I, every time I get. Every day I get the opportunity to meet such a charming face. Probably there are other faces that are really easy here, if you look at it, me. And uh, it's a pleasure to meet young people every day. Now, uh, earlier my hobby was gardening, but when I came to Delhi, it was a shock for me. There was no garden. We have a Sanama, Dilshad Garden, Shalimar Garden, Rajori Garden, Tagore Garden, but no garden. <laughs> but the boy, they're saying, sir, there's a garden. But then I I knew it. I saw the video, you know, in Uda Garden. <laughs> so the garden stuff just vanished out of my mind. Right now, my hobby is to speak and speak and speak and speak and speak and speak. Ten years down the line, I see myself as a trainer helping people to do success and to help them overcome the fear of public speaking and to help them make their lives a little better. So this is what I do, this is what I know. I have degree, but uh, I won't use my degree. I'm not in jobs, I'm not into practice. And getting a degree was an accident for me. Way back in uh, 2001, 14th January, June 2001, when I was in college, a beautiful girl, she joined CS. And being a normal boy, I just followed her. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure that she's not going to leave me. But the irony of boys, she left me. And uh, when I came back home with the award, there was an application form. My father saw it and said, Wow, you have to join C also. <laughs> so I have burned my whole youth with books. <coughs> you could see books all over me. Then I decided it's done. I got the degree, I gave it to my father, and with the degree, I got married to my wife because the degree is required me to get married. <laughs> so that was the journey of degree. And then I chose to become some, someone else. Now, today, apart from speaking, the second thing I do is called traveling. I travel a lot. Although every year, three months, I just travel. And that is by my own car. So I have to uh, travel around more than 40 percent of India. Whether it be Gujarat, Rajasthan, Orissa, Chhattisgarh, Nepal. And the best trip of my life was traveling to Lahore Spiti. The most dangerous terrain and a beautiful place. 99% people they go to Leh Ladakh and 1% crazy people they go to Lahore Spiti. No oxygen, no roads, no food, no mobile, no internet, just you and nature. And then to virgin nature. And there is a river called Bias River, you could see the color of the river, it is turquoise green. So I travel and I recommend my audience, do travel. Whenever you are frustrated, <coughs> Don't take weed, <laughs> don't take joints, join someone and travel. 
When you travel, you are with yourself. Go, travel, listen to all songs, and then don't give heart up any Bahmanism or someone else. Just listen to the old songs and just put your legs on the paddle and just rush. No destinations, nothing, no planning, just travel. You'll gain experience, you'll meet new people, you'll visit new places, and the best, you'll gain confidence. I challenge you, go to Lahore with me. I challenge you, go to Lahore with me. And the day you will be, you will come from Lahore with me, you are a changed person. Because really, that is a place where you can do the introspection. Now, when Uncle called me for the, now to become a guest, so I was really, you know, uh, what is the word, I'm missing it. On it. On it. On it. Uh, and uh, rather delighted. I said, okay, I'll be coming. Now, because a great speaker is in front of me, he's a great competitor and very efficient person, I am feeling no pressurized. <laughs> okay, but seriously, he's a great friend and uh, I learned great things from him and uh, we always uh, are good terms. <coughs> now, uh, how many minutes I have? <laughs> we have time. <laughs> how many minutes I have? Now, can I use the board? Yeah. Yes. 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 <coughs> Give me three things, three words, so that I can structure the speech. Three words. One is a lot. Elephant? Okay. <laughs> Second? Trepidous? Uh, I don't know the meaning. <laughs> Fearful. 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 Uh, just fear of fearful. And uh, yes. don't you dare to set that in mind that is bad. I invented this font and Microsoft is in terms to buy this font. <laughs> fearful in the third? Clutterless. Uh, may I have the meaning? Clutterless. Someone who. Uh, greedy. 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 Uh, one is a very positive word, beautiful word, and two are considered to be negative. Two are considered to be negative. <coughs> All the elegant speakers, I welcome you. And in the next five minutes, I'll try to transform your thought process from a positive perspective to a negative perspective. <coughs> You've heard since when you were a child, people they used to say, be positive. Frustration, aren't you guys? Seriously. Everybody says, be positive. Be positive. I was so frustrated. One day I asked, I asked what's the meaning of be positive? Then they said, ah, no, kehte hai, islam bhi kehte hai. So I was confused. Everybody used to say, be positive. The doctor even said, be positive. When he checked my blood group, I said, okay, good, I'll be positive. Now, life is a balance between negative and positive. I recall a Sanskrit shloka. Human nature and water, they are same. You boil water and keep it aside for few hours, it will be back in the original uh, temperature, it will be cold. And human nature is the same. You preach them, you motivate them, and for the short time they will be like, yes, aren't they? <laughs> but after a few minutes they are like, People they go to watch dangal and after watching dangal they are standing in front of the mirror. Why body banani? Every day, why body banani? And on the sixth day they are like, should be jerk out there. So the human nature is the same. We always are motivated but for a shorter period. Now the word is called fearful. I recall a movie. Uh, uh, Smith, after Earth. Will Smith. After yes. I recall a dialogue when his son was on planet Earth, he was alone. Will Smith, Will, Smith, Will Smith says, Hey, listen, son, danger is real and fear is a choice. Danger is real and fear is a choice. You should respect fear. If you don't respect your fear, then it's going to kill you. Danger and fear, they are totally different things. Like if you're walking in the jungle and there's a cobra hissing on you and he said, yeah, thing hai. Like jungle. <laughs> <laughs> and the cobra kisses you. <laughs> now my dear friends, it's called danger. 
the cobra will kiss you and after the moment the cobra kisses you you are you won't be able to kiss anyone <laughs> it's danger don't blame danger but yes fear fear is a choice when i was a kid and you could recall your own experiences when we were kids our parents used to say khalo mein to hua jayega khalo mein to baba jayega and we were like please don't go out and that was a fear when i grew up i was like ah is there no to banana the the seriously and the same has been taken care by all the generations all the generation parents they used to carry the same thing khalo mein to hua jayega and at that time we were like please but when we grew up we realized it was a fear and that time we had a choice is it to be getting frightened or to embrace it so keep in mind fearfulness is a choice but you should know either it is a danger or a fear if it is danger please 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 gain knowledge i like to quote example of bear grills men versus white and when we are going to wilderness or the the jungle uh there are chances that you end up vertically no horizontally inside the earth it means you might die he whenever he goes to a terrain which is unknown he always researches about the terrain what should be taken what should be avoided which berry to eat which to avoid if you got a water how to get water from your urine or from the camel uh, stomach and he always tells what are the side effects which he is going to face in future so that is for knowledge If you want to overcome fearfulness, gain knowledge. Upgrade your DBMS. I respect Quora. Seriously, I respect Quora, but I am not dependent on Quora. I respect Google, but I am not dependent on Google. Because what happens? I'm sorry, I'll be uh, talking again this topic. Uh, I remember I belong to that generation which is for the 90s. I remember there was a telephone set which is dialer. my father my grandmother they were illiterate and they used to remember on 200 for numbers with proper std codes today the era of technology we have mobile handset costing around 70 80000 bucks but we don't remember our own number whenever someone asks for the number say uh, bhai i'll give you a missed call so what happens our dbms is really degraded now as for my education is concerned I was the topper of my school. Ten consecutive years, I was the topper in mathematics. I still have that record. Ten consecutive years, I scored thirty-three. <laughs> And yeah, thirty-three. It's all about perception, how you perceive things. For some, ninety-nine is called top. For us, the bottom is called the top. <laughs> And I'm I'm proud of it. I was an outstanding student. Every time I used to stand outside. I was a backbencher. Twelve years, I had to record a backbencher's leader. And you know, backbenchers—they all are favorite of the teachers. When the teacher enters the class, they will say, "Backbenchers, stand up. Tum log kuch nahi kar paoge. Get out of the class." And we humbly used to say, "Thank you." <laughs> Our parents taught us respect your teachers. Whatever they say, do it. So we said, "Thank you." Ah. <laughs> uh, Monitor he was really scared of the backbenchers. Mm. <laughs> he should not be. <laughs> the monitor thought that the backbenchers are monitor, and that's why the monitor he never used to go to the backbenchers. Now we are a little naughty as well. And I used to hate that guy who used to answer every question in the class. The moment the teacher raised the question, yes, as if he has eaten the spring. <laughs> One day he came to the bed benches, and the teacher raised the question. He was like, "Yes," and he stood up. We said, "Up to bed, kid." <laughs> the moment was about to set. We just <laughs> not numbers. I'm not so brutal. <laughs> just an <the> altar. <laughs> and the quantum of the setting and taking off was the same. <laughs> and he shouted in a very musical way. <laughs> Teacher said, "What happened? Nothing, ma'am." 
So there are people who might have done this thing, and few are so brutal to abuse compass. <laughs> it is so inhuman. <laughs> now, uh, class 10, I got 60%, first division. Class 12th, I became the top of the class. I really did hard work. I got 45%. And uh, graduation, I got 50%. So I have seen all the grades. So for me, this world is really of no existence. I have seen the failures. I have seen the journey from the back benches to the front benches and the speaker. I have seen it. For me, failure is just a metaphor. That's it. It is not an experience. Yes, I realized it. A person who has never failed, he or she has never done anything new. They are not leaders, they are just followers. Being a failure, the best management lesson I got to learn is called, we know the don'ts first. And it is said, if you know the don'ts, do's, apne aap jai. So we know the don'ts. Now, I used to get 23, and my friends, they used to get 100 in mathematics. To the army, the person who used to get 33 is teaching the people who used to get, who used to get 100. So this is called flip flop. <laughs> and uh, 12 years of my school life, I never went on the stage because it was like a you know, fear for me, the like people that are going to kill me. I used to participate in only yoga competitions because you don't need to speak. And by God's grace, I was the top of yoga for uh, four consecutive years. Now today, my, I'm a speaker, and when my you know, friends, my teachers, they see my video, they are like, are you the same one? Or are you using someone else? And you are just pretending to speak, and someone else is speaking. I say, what do you think? Now, uh, you must be noting that I'm using now and tense. Next word is called greedy. Again, it's a very negative word. Since our childhood, people they used to say, don't be greedy, don't be greedy, don't be greedy. And the worst part, those who used to say that don't be greedy, they were the most greedy person. I'm really greedy. I'm really greedy. Seriously, I'm really, really greedy. I'm not ashamed of saying that I'm greedy. I'm greedy if it is concerned to increase my quality. I'm greedy. I'm greedy if it is concerned to help someone. I am greedy. It is greedy this which is forcing me to help me. It is my greediness which is helping me to increase my quality. I'm greedy. There is no shame in it. I'm greedy. We are mistaken by the word greedy. We believe that if you just launch for money, you are greedy. No, it is not greediness. You should be greedy. You should be fearful. And the moment you are fearful and the moment you are greedy, you will become eloquent in everything. And the day you are eloquent, the people, they will always praise you. Last advice as a speaker, I will say, preach what you practice. When you preach what you practice, you don't need to fail your body language. Because the thing which you are not practicing and you are saying on the stage, your body language will react in an opposite direction. If you say, I'm not angry. <laughs> I remember once Ankur proposed a girl and he said, I love you! And the girl she died of a heart attack. And he was booked at the IPC for culpable homicide. And the next day Aditya told him, Hey buddy, I'll teach you how to propose a girl. He's really smart. And the way he speaks in English, my God. I was like, man, I wish I could have the same accent. And Aditya says, and he goes to propose the lady. I love you, Didi. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, you should preach what you practice. Now, last, I'll just take two minutes. Two minutes, why? Two minutes from your side. Anything you want to ask? Uh, can I use Hindi as well? Yes. Yeah. Koi sanshay, koi shanta, if you are in the English, then you can ask us. I am in both languages. And in Hindi, I am very happy to believe that you are in Hindi. When you are in Hindi, you are in Hindi, you are in Hindi. भाषा और जो शब्द हैं वो आपके बहुत ज़्यादा होते हैं लेकिन क्योंकि ये दोस्त मास्टर सर यहाँ पे अंग्रेजी में ही वार्ता करने का नियम कानून है लेकिन मैं थोड़ा सा इस नियम कानून को तोड़ रहा हूँ तो I'm a rule breaker meeting is over any questions anything from your side मास्टर सर so obviously you speak really well commendable thank you sir